Hi, we're the Swensons, the family behind Let's Adventure Some More. And this year we decided to ditch our San Francisco Bay Area lifestyle for a trip around the world. This week we're in Mount Gambier, South Australia. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas from, from Mount, Mount Gambier. Gambier. To get to Mount Gambier, we picked up a camper van in Brisbane and worked our way south. So this is our first experience doing an RV camper van. It was awesome and also interesting. Yeah, this particular one did not have air conditioning in the back of the van. So whomever was in the back of the van either had to get plenty of air from opening window or just tough it out. Yeah, there are parts, especially when driving through Sydney, where it was just sweltering. So we. Uh, treated the kids to an ice, uh, icy or a smoothie and some ice cream to help uh, offset the heat. <laughs> and Sid Sydney was pretty warm, so. Yeah. And then we also, again, we're realizing how big Australia is. Uh, so we are making long miles. We're in the car a lot uh, the weeks that we have to travel. One thing that we really love, though, is the accessibility to free overnights. Uh, we did do the camper van, but you're able to just pit stop anywhere because you're self-contained. As we mentioned in previous posts, uh, there is a big problem out here with uh, people falling asleep behind the wheel. And in addition to just plain brief rest stops, they've got overnight stops that you can stay. We've been using an app on William's phone that kind of shows where all the campsites are. We decided just to stop whenever. This was actually the first part of our trip that I hadn't pre-booked anything and it worked out really well. While in Brisbane, we met uh, a family, a, a, a couple. They invited us over for dinner and had, we had a wonderful time yeah. and uh, they hooked us up with uh, the husband's brother um, down in uh, Canberra. The capital. And that's the capital that's in the ACT, the Australian Capital Territory. And uh, they were just some great folks. They served us supper, let us uh, park out in the front yard. They um, took us to a really cool river where we could swim at night. It was awesome. Yeah, it was uh, just an absolutely wonderful time. So shout out to my sister Ruth, Ruth McFarland. Hi Ruth. Um, she turned me on many, many years ago to a movie called The Man from Snowy River. And it's pretty much been on my mind, uh, back of my mind for most of my life that I really wanted to see the area where that movie was filmed and get to see just the majestic beauty that is uh, this part of, of Australia. And it was a prereq for when we were dating that I watched this movie. And I enjoyed it. It was great. Just a classic Western Australian film. Yeah, and so it was. It was based about a story uh, from a man from Snowy River in Snowy River Territory, and um, the, the area is gorgeous. Uh, we're in the summertime here right now, so there wasn't a whole lot of snow, just a few patches. Uh, but uh, the, the the entire area was just an, an amazing drive. The views were spectacular. A lot of woodland life, and um, I'm just glad we got to go. So the family that we stayed with in Canberra recommended our drive the following day through that region, which was awesome to kind of get some insider tips about where to stop and how to see it best. So that worked out really well. One of the fun little highlights before we got into the Kosciuszko National Park was this amazing little spirit distillery called Wild Brumby. Uh, they do schnapps, they do gin, they do vodka. And um, it was absolutely tasty. They had a, a pear William flavor. <laughs> Liked it a lot. Uh, our favorite was the butterscotch. We picked up a little bit of that and it was pretty good.
And then the next day we ended up in Melbourne and we turned in the camper van, swapped it out for a rental car and took the iconic drive uh, down the Great Ocean Road, Southern route um, in Victoria. And I guess a lot of shipwrecks have occurred there. There's um, land kind of that's been eroded that you can kind of see um, along the water line. So we were able to view those things, which was really great. Stopped in a really cute little beach town for lunch and spent hours at the beach. Playing in the sun yeah. and the kids getting their runs out. Yeah. And so that was great too because we were ending up in Mount Gambier for a house sit. So we are again house sitting for another sweet couple who were totally doting on our kids. I think they have grandkids of their own. So that was really awesome. Yeah, the, the mat outside the front door says grandchildren are spoiled here. Right, so it's been a, a great stop and we're able to stay put for Christmas, which is really wonderful. And again, after all that driving, it's been nice to have a place to do laundry and to cook and to relax. And to not be in the car. Yeah, so it's yeah. been good. Not counting Christmas, this week really is summarized by a lot of driving and a lot of beautiful scenery. Amen to that. <laughs>